Good morning, guys. I am Katie from Mitzi Creek Farm. Welcome back to the channel. You can hear behind me that weaning has commenced. And the biggest one making the biggest ruckus is the bull calf that we couldn't castrate. We put him back in with the herd because I didn't want him in with the heifer calves. And um, he is making the biggest ruckus because he is separated from his friends. So he kind of gets everybody else riled up, which is very annoying because it should be the moms and the babies that should be upset. But today's agenda, we have to get the roadside stand down at the end of the driveway set up fully up running functional get the signs up get the lights up everything also our christmas tree prices have to increase this year because we have had increases the past three years on the trees that we purchase and we have not raised our prices at all so we have we had to raise them this year because uh we would be losing money and so um, I have to make all new tags. So I am going in to do that now while Owen and Lily are getting some other stuff done around the house. And then we will get started on getting the lights up, the trees up, the tree stands up, the tags on, all of that. Owen got the lights hung a little bit ago, right up there, and he just got the T-post all pounded in, and uh, him and Lily are tightening up the brackets now. I'm going around and uh, kind of tweaking everything here so that it's all set up right for how we need it to be set up while they are doing that, and then it is time to bring down the Christmas trees. It is so cold and windy out here, but we're making good progress. We have one, two, three, four, maybe five trees left. And uh, we have a majority of them out. The problem is, is that uh, because it's so cold, it's only like 10 degrees. Um, and then with the wind chill on top of that, it's, it's cold. And so the problem that we're having is that uh, it is hard to get these trees fluffed up. Usually we can unbale them and stand them on end and then kind of tap them on the ground and it gets rid of all the dead needles and um, then it fluffs itself up. And that is not working because it is so cold out here. So we have to go b behind and just manually fluff them by hand. Uh, in a few days, it should warm up to like 20s and 30s and um, then they will fluff up more on their own but uh, we really can't put them out looking like a baled Christmas tree after we've unbaled it. 
they're uh, just like a just like a log essentially. Have the roadside sand for the Christmas tree season set up. There are about 20 trees down here so not nearly as many as we normally do. We have usually about 75 or we had about 75 last year down here but it looks pretty full and um, it's looking really good. I'm happy with how it turned out and now that we have this done the next big thing is to get up Christmas lights and to finish the stone coop so we can open for that one week from today. That is it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in guys and we'll see you next time.